Okay, November 30th. November 30th, 1950, uh, President Harry Truman announces that the United States will be willing to use the atomic bomb to end the war in North Korea, or in Korea. Um, war had broken up between the North and South, and the UN um, Security Council created a resolution and sent in a UN force to defend the South and to, to kind of end the war. So the U.S. was there as part of a uh, UN force, and it was never actually a declaration of war on the part of the United States. So the war was between North and South Korea, but the United States was there as more of a police action. So Congress never declared war. Um, so we were there for three years. About 36,000 Americans died in the war. Um, it was largely successful. MacArthur had pushed the North Koreans all the way up into China. Um, and then the Chinese sent forces in and just pushed the Americans back. Um, MacArthur had never, General MacArthur had never expected the Chinese to invade um, and then wanted permission to bomb China. And Harry Truman would not give permission to bomb China because he did not want a fallout war um, between the United States and China. So everything fell back to the 38th parallel, which is where they created a demilitarized zone between the North and South. And so and an armistice was signed in, in July of 1953, thus um, pausing the war, because technically the two countries are still at war. There's never been a peace treaty. So um, the two countries are still at war, um, but um, the armistice was signed, and that's largely held. There's been some actions over the years. But uh, anyway, so that's what I have for you today. Um, today, uh, November 30th, 1950, Harry Truman announces that he would be willing to use the atomic bomb to end the Korean War. Um, that's what I have for you today. I will see you tomorrow.